Welcome back to Chiromox. Uh, today I'm with you continuing our series on print, PR, and PPC. And if you can read this title behind me, um, we're talking about PR today. Um, this is a fun topic and I think a lot of chiropractors don't take advantage of the PR opportunities that are all around. So today I want to go through 10 best PR tips for chiropractors. Um, to get started, I want to first talk about picking the right news. So I see this a lot um, because I think we tend to be so involved in our own industry that it's hard to tell what really makes good news and what is just kind of trivial information that's probably not going to get picked up by the media. Um, so this is a good opportunity to um, poll a couple people like, hey, do you think this would get picked up? You can ask us if you want. Um, picking the right, right news makes all the difference between it getting um, picked up in the media and it not. Um, I've seen where people just pitch everything, uh, whether it's newsworthy or not, and unfortunately that makes it less likely that when you do have something worthy that it will get picked up in the future. Um, so I don't want to scare you off from pitching, um, but make sure that you've thought about it and make and have ensured that the topic is actually newsworthy. Point number two, build relationships with the media. Um, this is important because if they know who you are, uh, they'll be more likely to engage with you and therefore um, print your pitch. So, um, so Start by being friendly, um, learning names, um, figuring out the other recent articles this journalist um, has, has written in the past. So you can kind of figure out what styles they use, um, the topics they like to cover. Um, get research done and then you'll be able to um, pitch more accurately, um, which will help you out in, in later points actually. Um, down here, five. We'll get to that though. Um, okay, so number three, and this one goes actually along with building relationships with the media as well. Um, I want you to be helpful. So it's not just about your news getting in the newspaper. It's about you um, being helpful and providing a journalist with the information that they need for a story. Um, so. I have here fulfill a need. So a lot of times uh, journalists are looking for specific information that they need to further flesh out a story or to um, get insider information, um, to get an interview. See if you can help out that way. And these two, number two and three, go hand in hand because when you already have a relationship with the media, uh, they'll, they might start coming to you because they know what you can provide them. Uh, there's also a resource, let me write this down here, it's called Hero or Health uh, Reporter Out. Um, and that, you just sign up for their emails and they send you uh, three times a day, three or four, I think it's three, three times a day, um, needs. Reporters list what they need for a recent story. And all you have to do is skim that every day and see if there's a reporter from somewhere, it could be across the country, maybe even across the world, who needs a story, um, needs your help as a chiropractor. If you stay on the lookout for that, you can get a uh, media mention very easily, just like that. Um, number four, personalized pitches. So even if you don't have a relationship uh, with the person that you're pitching, make sure that you figure out their name and make sure that you pitch it to the right person. Um, so don't send, just make sure that your email addresses correlate to the name that you're sending and don't ever do something like to whom it may concern because that shows you took zero time to find out who the actual person behind the email address is. Okay, now we're finally at number five, pitch the right person. Um, this requires doing uh, research as well. Uh, it requires that you look into the person who would probably be covering a story like this. Um, so in your chiropractic industry, what journalist, what staff member covers those types of stories? And make sure that you're sending that 
your pitch to that person. Um, because if you send it to the person who happens to be arts and entertainment and you're not talking about arts and entertainment, your pitch will probably not even be read. Um, so if you pitch the right person, you're that much more likely that at least it'll be read and perhaps considered. Number six, uh, be brief. Um, for a number of reasons, because if you're sending out a bunch of pitches, uh, you'll save yourself time, number one. But number two, also because your reporters do not have time to read through lengthy pitches. And if yours is long, they just won't read it. That's all there is to it. So keep it brief. Make sure you put all the pertinent information into digest quickly digestible format. So bullet points um, are perfect for this. Like tell them what your story is about uh, right away in 50 words and hit send. Um, that is a good way to get your pitch out to multiple people um, and to make sure you're covering um, a bunch of different topics if you have various pitches going on at the same time, but also to make sure that it's read um, by the media. And then seven, don't be afraid to follow up. Um, again, be brief with it. Make sure you're pitching the right person and personalize. Follow all these rules too. But it doesn't hurt to just send a follow-up email just, hey, just checking to see if you got the email I sent last week because, and then include the information again, because sometimes their inboxes are flooded. Okay, all the time their inboxes are flooded. So if you are able to um, bring your email that might have got sifted down to the bottom up to the top again, um, there's a good chance they could actually look at it that time around. And hey, it doesn't hurt. Um, number eight is to track your efforts. So when you start getting pitches read, write them down, um, put them in the spreadsheet. And actually, I just wrote a blog on this this last week, yesterday. So um, check out this blog post on tracking your efforts with PR. And um, there's a lot more information in that blog too. That's at chiromarks.com backslash blog. Number nine, <laughs> keep at it. Uh, so it can be a little bit disheartening if you're sending out pitches and you're building relationships and your pitches are still not getting picked up and you're not getting any media mentions. I get it. <laughs> That's tough. But it happens. It happens to everyone. And as time goes on, um, they will start getting picked up. You just have to wait for the right the time, the right story, the right journalist. Um, and sometimes that doesn't happen immediately, um, but you will see success. Um, and if you want help with that, you can definitely ask us. That's point number 10, which is a shameless plug for us here at Kyrobox. Uh, we do a lot of PR. Um, we're good at writing press releases and we already have relationships with the media. So if you have news that you want to get out or you just want to get your name out there, definitely get in touch with us. Kyromox.com is the way to do it. Um, and our phone number is listed there too. Uh, we'd love to talk to you more about it. That is all on my 10 best PR tips. Um, we This is the only week we're covering PR. So if you have any questions about PR, um, shoot me an email. But otherwise, next week we're diving into PPC which is a fun and exciting time in PPC right now. So we're looking forward to covering that for a couple of weeks. Um, so we'll see you back here next time. Until then, bye.